Okay, hello string players, fifth graders. Uh, this week we are going to learn, uh, start learning about how to use the bow. <clears throat> so the first step to that is learning how to form our bow hand shape on a pencil. Uh, you can also use a straw. The nice thing about a straw is if you can't see through the straw, you know that you are pinching too tightly. So get either a pencil with no clips or anything on it. You know, you don't want a pencil like this with a bunch of clips and stuff. Okay, just a plain pencil or a straw. Okay, so to start off with, I'm taking my right hand, make sure you use the correct hand, okay, your right hand, and I'm going to make a llama. Okay, so I have two ears, two teeth, and I got my thumb. And notice my thumb is on its tip and have a nice round eyeball. Okay, okay then I'm gonna move my thumb to the first knuckle. All right, so I'm gonna take my thumb tip, I'm gonna slide it down until it's lined up with the first knuckle of the middle finger. I still have a nice round eyeball. And notice I have a nose. It's nice and rounded. All of these knuckles are bent. Okay? I do not have a beak. Aflac. Okay, nice rounded knuckles, which make a nose. Okay. Now take your pencil in your left hand, and you're going to slide that pencil between the thumb and the fingers. And again, my pencil <clears throat> lines up with my knuckle. Okay. My thumb is on its tip. Still have my nice round eyeball. Okay. Now bring your ears down to the pencil. Okay. So at this point, you should have a fairly nice basic bow hold. Okay? Notice these fingers are over the stick. Okay? So these fingers are not up here, They're over the side. Okay? And just keep checking, make sure you always have that thumb bent. Okay, so from here, there's five things you have to check, okay? Bow check number one. Thumb curved. So you can flip your llama over. I'm going to put it this way so you can see it. And is your thumb curved? So we call this banana thumb. That's bad. Okay. This is our nice bent thumb. That's good. And notice my thumb is on its tip. If I'm in banana thumb, my thumb is not on its tip anymore. And there's no eyeball. Okay. So on its tip, thumb bent. Okay, bow check number two, pinky taps. Violins and violas, you're going to want to bend your pinky and put it on top of the stick. Tap, 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 tap. Cellos and basses, you're going to leave your pinky a little bit over the side, still bent, but it's a little over the side. Tap, 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 tap. And you can always hold on with your left hand, too, for balance. Okay, bow check number one, thumb curved. Bow check number two, pinky taps. Violin and viola on top, cello and bass over the side. Bow check number three, frog rub. Frog rub. So I take my middle two fingers and I rub what will eventually be the frog. Now, when I stop, <clears throat> notice my fingers are back over the stick. Okay, don't stop up here. Go all the way over. Number four, pronation. I'm sorry, spacing, spacing. Okay, so you take your left pinky and you're gonna slide it through each pair of fingers 
and make sure you have a little bit of spacing. I call these my mouse windows. So you got a little mouse window here, here, and here. And then you have the front door of your mouse house, and you have the back door of your mouse house. Okay, nice round circle. And you can see the little spaces. Now you don't want any elephant windows. Okay, that's too big. Okay, or this one, too big. Okay, keep it close. And bow check number five, pronation. So pronation is a fancy word that means to turn or to lean. Okay, so notice how my fingers are slanted, okay, to the left, okay, to your left, okay? So if I slant the wrong way, if I pronate towards the pinky, it looks like this. That's not good. Okay, we want to pronate or slant towards the first finger to the left. Okay, and when I do that, the first three fingers naturally go over the stick, and the pinky, violins and violas, naturally goes up to the top of the stick. And then wave things around a little bit. Make sure you're relaxed. Okay, so we don't want the wrist like that. Okay, we don't want your fingers to be straight and stiff. Okay, everything should be nice and bent and relaxed. Okay. So I would do this at least 20 or 30 times a day until we put out our next lesson on learning how to hold the bow. Okay, this is a really important moment for you to set a good foundation with your bow hold, which will make your sound, if you set a good foundation, your sound will be beautiful when you start playing your instrument. Okay, if you don't set a good foundation, it won't be beautiful, okay? So go back to the beginning of this video, watch it many times, and do this many, many times a day. You can do it while you're brushing your teeth, you can do it while you're drinking your milkshake. You can do it while you're doing your math homework. You can do it when you're eating your dinner. Okay, any cylindrical object. Okay, you can practice your bow hold. So get to work and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.